this is Jack. It's Saturday, uh, November 21st, 2009, and uh, man, I fell asleep at the computer last night. My head's all stuffed up. Man, I feel weird. But uh, anyway, I'm happy to be going down to Walgreens to pick up BJ's uh, antibiotics for a urinary infection that we've been waiting for for like nine days. So hopefully this is going to clear up his head and. Um, He'll be a little less confused, so um, man, I hope this works. This would be great. So, I'll tell you more about it later. Well, it's Saturday afternoon now, and um, BJ is really hurting. Uh, we got a, a front coming through probably tomorrow, going to bring us some rain, and um, it's true, arthritis patients feel it. They feel it in their bones. Um, he predicts it every time, about 24 hours later. By the time the storm comes, so the pain's usually let up. So, um, anyway, he's feeling miserable. He took his maximum pain medication this afternoon, so we just gave him a, a muscle relaxer, and he got in his in his uh, you know his reclining chair. So hopefully, it'd be good you know for a two or three hour nap, and that'll you know loosen up the muscles and stuff. He'll feel better down here at the catfish pond so I was going to do some like, chop some brush and stuff but man it is like really a lot of pollen here and I ran out of allergy medicine till next week and um, it's like one of my reason my eyes are so messed up but you can see it all floating on the pond here I'll show it to you and that's the catfish pond and all that stuff floating on the pond is pollen it looks like an oil slick this. That's nasty. And you see the trails through it. That's where gators and ducks and stuff have gone and swum through it. I don't know if there's a gator in here now. I hope not. And then, is this pretty trees? Those orange ones? Those are the bald cypress down here. And um, they're getting ready to go bald for the year, but that, that leaves turn uh, pretty golden first. And uh, I planted all those. So they're all like about 35 feet tall now. And they're about 20 years old, I guess, 18, 20 years old. And um, they're really pretty. They grow pretty fast, too. If you want a fast growing tree, get you a cypress and take care of it. And you don't necessarily need a pond, they'll grow on dry land. So. They're nice trees. You should plant one if you got space for it. So, well, um, I'm going to go do a project in the garden and then get back on the computer. And it should be kind of quiet today, at least for a while. So maybe I'll get some work done. Okay. I'll show you something amazing. See these things here? These are Gerber daisies that um, I brought when uh, I moved here. A few years ago, I found, I, I thought they'd all died out. Because I stopped kind of taking care of this part of the garden and kind of neglected it. And um, they did disappear. We had a few years of drought and they just disappeared. But then when it started raining again and we had lots of rain, uh, like year before last, and uh, they just pop back to life. So anyway, these are two yellow Happy Pot Gerber daisies. I just separated that one, and then here's one. I don't know how he got over there. Or this is a umbrella plant. This is a water plant. Like it's kind of related to papyrus, but you can grow it in the garden regular garden soil. They're kind of pretty. Um, but uh, this guy somehow, they joined forces almost, but here's another one here that I can save. So I have a pot of three of them, and, and I'm going to take this up on the deck. So this can be one of BJ's gardening projects up there you can put her around with. Um, this will be fun because it'll have flowers on it.
Um, if you live up north, you can dig them up and bring them inside. They probably won't flower because they need a lot of light before they will they'll bloom. But um, you can keep them alive and then plant them out in your garden next year. Because yeah, they're pretty expensive potted. They're like, I don't know, four or five bucks. I don't know. So you, you want to save up with some bloom buster fertilizer or something. Uh, they'll bloom a lot and and he'll have something to entertain himself with. So. And we're going around resurrecting flowers that I thought were dead or plants that I thought were dead. Um, which is good because I don't have money to buy new ones. But after all these years of neglect, um, you know, I'm finding some stuff. See, here's what I mean about plants really, really wanting to survive. This guy, I rooted about three years ago. This is an oak leaf hydrangea. It's a native shrub here in the southeast United States. It gets real big, you know, blossoms, lots of flower clusters on it in the spring. And um, so there's hardly any dirt in there, and it has like root itself, and it's just been, I'm just amazed it's alive. Anyway, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna finally plant it uh, this weekend. And, uh, sorry I've been so mean to you. <laughs> I'll be nice to you now. You're gonna have a good place to live right here in this new bit. This guy'll this guy'll be pretty in bloom next spring if I treat him right. At least a little bloom. Uh, front's coming through and it's starting to rain right now. And um I'll have to be fast. Um, same front that like uh causes BJ's arthritis to like really hurt so he took a uh, muscle relax and all kinds of pain pills today and he slept for about three hours this afternoon and the good thing was is that instead of making him goofy it seems like um, actually kind of calmed him down and he wasn't having any delusions or you know confusion and I think it's just because his you know his uh, brain activity was just kind of you know dialed down a bit so you know maybe that's good I don't know um, it's just one thing is, is these drugs seem to work different every time so I shouldn't get my hopes up but um, I do and the other one is Bubba the old great dame and he's got the same arthritis in his hip and it just like you can tell he's hurting so I don't know what to do for him except for making like a you know soft bed to lay on and give him some treats. So anyway, I guess that's it for Saturday, November 21st, 2009. I can't believe I've done 15 of these already. Um, I guess I'd like it. So this is Jack. See you next time. Be good and grow.